Well, the rationale is to um, look at uh, preventable factors uh, of sudden cardiac deaths in uh, long endurance uh, races. Uh, so it's a survey uh, which was conducted for 10 years between 2006 uh, up to 2016 uh, in long endurance races uh, which took place in the Paris area. Uh, so briefly uh, what we did is we collected uh, all sudden cardiac deaths uh, which had occurred during this time window and uh, we looked at uh, the uh, race characteristics in terms of uh, environment, temperatures, but also in terms of air pollution. And uh, we looked at also uh, the global age of the uh, runners uh, and uh, the uh, gender repartition. And uh, we phenotyped uh, all the uh, sudden cardiac events uh, very precisely because all these patients uh, were uh, taken care by the uh, mobile intensive care units uh, on site. So during the 10 years uh, we collected about uh, 36 uh, uh, cardiac sudden deaths. So some were related to uh, the environment and especially we had uh, about uh, seven uh, heat stroke uh, because of high temperature and marathons. And then uh, we had about 25 uh, sudden cardiac deaths which were related to myocardial ischemia. Well, the, uh, the, the end point is uh, sudden cardiac events, major cardiovascular events, and the study design is uh, it's an ongoing registry, uh, which is still ongoing. So, uh, so uh, what we did, we looked at these uh, uh, 25 patients uh, who had uh, sudden cardiac deaths, and uh, we uh, identified the etiologies, and we found that most of these patients had uh, myocardial ischemia. Uh, could, which could be acute but also a chronic disease. And, uh, and we found that about one third of these patients uh, had uh, symptoms uh, during the race, uh, but they uh, keep uh, going on uh, until they collapse. Uh, so uh, I think that these uh, events could have been prevented uh, by stopping them. And the uh, second major findings is that uh, we found an association between uh, air pollution index uh, and the occurrence of events. So which means that uh, when there were a high rate of uh, microparticles or uh, sulfur derivatives, uh, there are more events. Uh, so uh, the main conclusion is that we may have some uh, preventive actions uh, at two levels. First, the level of the patients uh, by uh, warning them that they should not keep on you know, running uh, when they had bad feelings. And the second is, is at the level of the organizing uh, committees uh, and when the temperature is too high and when the air pollution is too high, they may cancel the race. And this have happened uh, in July uh, 2019 in New York with the triathlon which was cancelled two days before because of heat and air pollution. So uh, I think that uh, uh, these are quite new findings uh, in terms of, uh, I would say, preventable uh, action that we may have uh, because we have more and more people uh, who are uh, participating to long enduring uh, races. Uh, even if the events are rare, uh, we, we, we can prevent them. I think that uh, we should keep going uh, because uh, I think that the key issue here is the relationship between air pollution uh, and events. And it's very difficult to uh, um, um, demonstrate the association, even if you model and we do not really know whether we should you know, uh, take into account the air pollution before the race, during the race, or thereafter, or uh, whether we should uh, you know, plot the uh, air pollution during one month, because it's, it's quite difficult, but uh, we need to, to, to keep on and to collect uh, this data. And uh, I think that if we have uh, stronger arguments and a stronger association that could be re replicated uh, you know, in uh, uh, other settings, uh, then we, we may have uh, uh, some, uh, I would say, uh, preventable actions for the uh, organizing committees.